James. Nat. It's been years. Hey. I just hey. I can't get rid of you. Can <laughs> Making yourself at home? Is that okay? Of course. I'm just surprised you picked here. Felt right. I guess. Come by later and I'll show you around. But we should go find Steve. He wanted to talk to you. Lead the way. During the Cold War, there was a theory. That one agent, at the right place, at the right time, with the right skills, could be more effective than an army. That agent was the Winter Soldier. That agent was me. My military career began as Captain America's sidekick. Steve was four years my senior and everything I wanted to be. But war had other plans. And so did the Soviets. They gave me a metal arm and took away everything I was. But Nat, she made me remember what it was to feel human. We knew it was forbidden, but I loved her more than anything. When they found out, they put me back on ice. I lived only in waking nightmares as the Winter Soldier, lost between years of sleep. It was hard, waking up alone to a new world. Even worse after A-Day. I couldn't find Nat. Steve. Steve was gone. I just wanted to do good. For him. I failed. Monica Rappuccini reactivated the Winter Soldier. Two years I spent being experimented on. Assassinating people. Abducting Inhumans for aims. Research. Sometimes I think I should have never woken up. But I'm really glad I did. Avengers! Move out! I don't know if these still work, but it was the only number I had off the top of my head. I blame cell phones. <laughs> you know, in the 40s, we knew everybody's number by heart. Now, based on the date this phone's shining at me, I'm missing about two years. You think that would stop bothering me after decades of lost time, but no. <laughs> no. Still a kick in the gut. And if it makes you feel any better, Nat, you weren't gonna be my first call, but... He's not around to pick up the phone, so... It's gotta be you. You know, it was kinda nice, for a second. Forgetting we live in a world without Captain America. Then I remembered. They left me that. Whoever's pulling my string sure has a sick sense of humor. Here's what I know. I'm not okay. I can hear the voices in my head and they're pretty much all speaking Russian. I'm definitely in an AIM facility. Those hexagons are hard to miss. And they have obviously reactivated me. I don't know how long I'll be in my right mind, so I'm sending you a location. The last place I remember. See if you can follow my footsteps from there. And, uh, Nat, hurry. Bucky, it's good to have you back. <laughs> You're telling me. I thought I was hallucinating when you pulled me out of that facility. Yeah, I've been there. Listen, I won't be staying long. What? You're more than welcome then. A string of words, Steve. That's all it takes. A simple phrase and suddenly I'm turning my weapons on my friends. Monica still has those protocols, which means there's always a chance it could happen again. Then we find and destroy them. For good. She's right. We've destroyed Monica's plans before. That's why you're here. We can do it again. But where do we start? I don't remember much from those two years, and the stuff I do, well... <laughs> it's not exactly helpful. I found something suspicious on one of AIM's riot bots we took out a couple days ago. There's a file on it called Zima Zephyr Backup, that I haven't seen anywhere else. Though it's 
corrupted beyond analysis, there is a good chance. It could be nothing. It could be. But that file name? You have a point. Zephyr. It's what they called the program. Zima... Winter. Besides, anything suspicious that AIM's doing is worth investigating. Well, I wouldn't mind destroying some bots anyway. Sandbag's been feeling a little soft lately. What, that taped up call on a concrete hanging in your room? Soft? Well, sounds like you're out of practice, Buck. <laughs> All right. First to 30 buys lunch. Oh, I hope you like Coney Island hot dogs. All right, I admit it. The pizza wasn't bad. You're welcome. But I've had better. Oh. Okay. You want to take this outside, Cap? <laughs> you two can leave that for later. We have new intel to go over. One of those bots had the Zima Zephyr backup file. So the two machines were paired? Looks like it. Is there more on the file? No, just this. There should be more. A set of orders is meaningless without an objective. The riot bots follow drones. But for what? What's the drone doing? My thoughts exactly. Let's go make them talk. I met Steve in 1941. I was 16, he was 20, and, uh, Uncle Sam thought Captain America needed a sidekick. <laughs> I knew as soon as I met him that we, um, that, uh, that he, um, God damn it. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I don't, I don't do these. I mean, everyone I know who I might have done it for died over 60 years ago at the other end of a Nazi weapon. So, um, so I missed him. I missed all of it. I, I missed every funeral or memorial or tribute. You, you name it, I wasn't there. And after I came back, I lived with that because I knew Captain America, the man who everybody loved and respected. Well, he missed him too, you know? Maybe, <laughs> maybe I wasn't such a screw up if the, if the golden boy of the USA had the same baggage as me. But I was never supposed to be here. This was one more funeral that I was supposed to miss. You know, people, they think Steve Rogers was, was reckless. You know, they say he was always rushing into danger. But that man, that man never took on a single fight he couldn't win, ever. He came back home every single time. And he brought his men back too. Except once, I guess. Now twice. I was supposed to go first. Just because you never said the words doesn't mean you didn't promise that I'd never have to be here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm done. No, I can't. I can't. No, I can't do it. No, just, I have to go. Okay, no, please just let me get off, Nat. Just, just leave it. Good news. We got the full Zima Zephyr backup file. Let's see it. Okay. That's a lot. The bots and drones were paired up like we thought. The bots followed the drones, and the drones followed me. That line, right there, to subdue the Winter Soldier. Why would Monica need to subdue you if you were under her mind control? Good question. Wait, what is this? To subdue the Winter Soldier in the event of non-compliance, engage backup protocols. Riot bot to relay submission algorithm phrase Sputnik. <sighs> James. Buck, you okay? I'm fine. I just... That word. I remember. I was on a mission. A drone was tailing me. I was... I was annoyed that it had to be there. I, I, I didn't want it getting in my way. Monica's programming wasn't perfect. I escaped at one point, but I didn't even know who I was. It wasn't long before Monica got me again. After that, she had the riot bots in there in case I went rogue. Equipped them with that damn sleeper phrase to put me out before I could run. Do you remember anything more? Siberia. The base for Monica's brainwashing protocols. We'll have to work fast. It's gonna be heavily guarded. I have just the thing. A program to wipe Monica's protocols from AIM's entire global data bank. And I added a nasty present in there to cause some chaos while we're at it. A present? Virus. Here. So while we're plugged in, it replaces their data with audio files of... I'm, I'm sorry, what is a hard base? <laughs> oh, Nat, that is... <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Do I love you? Hmm? 
<clears throat> uh, <laughs> nothing. Look, let's move out. Siberia's not getting any warmer. <laughs> How did you do, Einstein? How did you wake up from five years on ice and not want to kill the next person who looked at you sideways? Because after all these decades, the only thing that feels familiar about waking up in a world I don't recognize is the anger. I mean, I was an angry kid. I want to believe that I wasn't, that I was better before, but... But the army saw something in me they could work with, and I know I clocked you a few times over nothing, so... <laughs> I can't just blame this on the Russians. In fact, they tried to brainwash it out of me. But every time I woke up before they said the code words, I felt like I was on fire inside. Like I wanted to chew everyone in the room up and spit them out. And now, now I don't even get the piece of brainwashed ignorance. <laughs> I just think about Monica Rappuccini and I see Red. So, how did you do it? How did you wake up and not want her dead? I mean, she took five years of your life. She only took two of mine. Don't you want revenge? Don't you want to wipe that self-satisfied smirk off her face for good? No, you don't. Because you're a better man than I am. And you always were. Even before. What? did you see in me that made you think that I would be better than this? Better than revenge. Because I don't feel better, Cap. I feel like taking from them what they took from me. Everything. We did it, Buck. Monica's programming is gone. Hell yeah. Yeah. But the brainwashing, it... It has two parts. Sure. We destroyed Monica's protocols, but there's also the receiver algorithms, and those receivers... ...are still in my mind. If it could be put in there, it could be taken out. By who? Steve. The old Soviet doctors who did this to me, they're not exactly trustworthy or cooperative. And that's assuming they're even still alive. We know somebody who can help. Someone who wouldn't want to scramble my psyche, given half the chance? Dr. Jane Foster. If anyone has the skills and the moral compass to do this right, it's her. Okay. I could set up a meeting for Nix. No, no, Cap. I... I got it. I'm fine. I'll give you a number. Thanks, Nat. Hey, it's, uh... It's Bucky. Um... Which you know. Um... It's just when I... When I saw you standing there... When you pulled me out of that facility, I just... I, I, I couldn't... I couldn't believe it. And I don't really know what the protocol is for this. I mean, I, what did you do when you found out I wasn't dead, huh? They got greeting cards for congrats on your resurrection or something? <laughs> uh, that is, that's, that's just coming out wrong. Um, holy crap, Steve. I, I, I went to your funeral, you know? And after you were gone, well, the, the Avengers just, they fell apart, you know? And I, I lost it. Nat went dark and, uh, Thor turned into Mother Teresa. <laughs> Star Glasses Company, which, you know, that one was kind of fun to watch, I admit. Um, but how did I get there? Um, you know, without you to vouch for the former Russian super soldier, nobody would trust me. I mean, Hill was the only one who thought I might still be useful at all, so she sent me after every lead on a missing inhuman she could. Even had me babysit her cat once or twice. <laughs> you know, I, I think she was just trying to keep me busy, but I, I... I couldn't stop thinking about Tarleton being the last person to see you alive. And I needed answers, so... I went after him. And, uh... Well, apparently that's how Wayne picked me up. Gave me a false lead on his whereabouts, and the next thing I know, well... <laughs> here we are, two years later. I... Don't know all the details yet of what I did for them, but uh, what I have figured out is it's 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 bad, really bad. Like helping kidnap more Inhumans for their sick experiments, bad. But this is the stupidest message. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry um, about all of this. We'll 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 just we'll talk soon, okay? Face to face. Welcome back, Steve.
Oh, and if I hug you a little too tight when we see each other next, uh... No, I didn't. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Uh, bye. How did it go? Um, it was uncomfortable at first. Not quite... painful, but... Having someone in your mind is never pleasant. Yeah. You're telling me. But she was so careful and calm, it... Felt easier and easier, and then it was done. Jane's pretty great. <sighs> I owe her one. And both of you. So, thank you. Anytime, Buck. Well, um, do you mind if I stick around? <laughs> Welcome to the team. Well, I promised Clint I'd join him. And lucky tonight, so I will get going. <clears throat> uh, see you around. Are the sunsets from the Chimera always this nice? Yeah, sunrises too. I'll show you the best spots if you're up for some climbing. I'd like that. How are you feeling? I don't know. The algorithms are gone, sure, but everything else that remains feels heavier somehow. My hands remember what it was like to hurt innocent people. I can still feel all of it, Nat. The blood, the guilt. We can't fix the past. I've spent years wishing I could. But we're more than what was. I should have had the strength to stop myself. I didn't. And that is something I'm gonna have to live with. But... I finally think I'm ready to. I'll find the strength to change the future because I know how fragile all of this is. And I know how much it all means. James, you're a good man. Nat. <sighs> An Avenger's life is busy, James. We don't have all day. <sighs> I know. I just... I just needed a moment. James, when I saw you at the congressional hearing, I knew you wanted to talk. It's one of the things I love about you, reading your face like it's a secret code only I can decipher. And I know a letter is the coward's way out, but it's all I've got. I'm about to go dark for a long time, and I couldn't let that be the way I left things. So here's my best attempt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that to the Russians the way you felt for me was proof you had a heart that needed crushing. I'm sorry I pretended not to know who you were when Steve brought you back. And I'm sorry I took him from you. Love. Nat. PW Presents is delighted to announce our partnership with The Avengers. Assemble your team from both the classic and legacy heroes fresh from the West Coast and take the fight to aim. Assemble your collection at pwpresents.co.uk forward slash shop or join the resistance at patreon.com forward slash pwpresents. Audience, assemble.